get into a car with you again, I will never know. You're blaming me? Yes, I am blaming you. You are the worst person to get stuck in a car with. Your sense of direction is non-existent. You were the one who's supposed to be navigating instead of covering your eyes and screaming like a little boy. The storm blew that tree down right in front of us. Be glad I got us here. Yes, here, as opposed to the fundraiser at the hotel. Oh, and yet another favorite pair of Cartulos completely ruined. Well, relax, they're just shoes. They're not just shoes. I don't wear just shoes. I wear pairs of artistry. Considering my driving record, be glad that the three of you are alive. Yes, alive. And stranded. We're stranded. Of course, I suppose it could be worse. We could be in a biker bar. Wherever you are, we're closed. Then again, welcome to ladies' night. Shoot. I still can't get a signal. I need to check on the girls. Girls are fine. Not those. Oh, your girls. <laughs> well, I'm... Honey, I'm sure they're fine, too, which is more than I can say for my Cartulo classics. Oh, I got a drink. I'll make you forget all about those shoes and everything else, girls. It's my own concoction. A little something I like to call... A cold teeny. Straight uh, up. Uh, make it two. <laughs> One, I'm gonna have a club soda, please. Are you sure you wanna start drinking? Honey, I've wanted to start drinking ever since that 360 skid you pulled on Sycamore Street. Besides, we need to be celebrating. What are we celebrating? Oh, wildly successful book tour. We've been doing that for weeks. Okay, then how about celebrating the sequel I'm gonna write? <sighs> Commissioned to write a sequel. Well, they actually haven't commissioned me. I mean, not in so many words. Not yet. It's only a matter of time. And with Spinelli's alter ego providing me with this gold mine of information. Of course, I probably should be a little sorry for Sam. It can't be good for business. You don't have to worry about Sam. She's a little occupied with other things right now. Like what? I don't want to talk about it. Is it that bad? All right, make that two coltinis. One, please. Look, Connie, help with it. Gee, you've been in a mood all evening. I'm surprised you even got out of the house. Just need a little distraction. From what? Did I mention that Sam and Jason are getting married? You mean Jason Morgan actually popped the question? I never thought I'd see the day. Well, that's wonderful. I mean, you know, I mean, for them. Right? What's wrong with you? You don't even like marriage. Well, no, not for me, but... But you should be so happy for Sam. I mean, she's gonna make a beautiful bride. <laughs> you almost seem wistful. Well, I was a starry-eyed girl, you know, once. Long, 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 Thank long you. time Thank ago. You, yes. And that wistful little girl must have been left by the way, so. <laughs> well, yes, the little girl fell in love with all the wrong boys, and, well, she ever fell in love at all. This is very revealing. You haven't had a coltini yet. I know I'm safe with you, as you are safe with me, and we can live vicariously through the wedding. Isn't that novel you're writing drama enough for you? Enough is not in my vocabulary. All right, now let's talk about that engagement ring. Must have been a rock. Sort of. How many carrots are we talking? How many beer cans does it take to make a carrot? He did give her a ring. He gave her a token of his affection. Is it that bad? How bad? Thank you. <gasps> George Cloney. Yeah, okay, that's cute. That's cute. Keep them coming. Woo! Party. 